your neck, therefore keep safe. Don't let them steal you wrong. See that for keep safe. again, baby. Yeah, we had to bring one back to y'all. Y'all, y'all folk been, been sitting there waiting on Maddie and Marty and who the bell is that in the back seat, Marty? Oh, that's Junior back there. You got Junior in the back seat, Maddie? Yeah, our son Junior. Oh my God. We sitting here waiting on some Olive Garden. I tell you, they just taking too long for that, my, that Olive Garden. You know how they got this little social distancing and all that going on. You don't want to want to come out here. It's your fault. Well, you don't want to want to come out here. Because why I could have cooked at home, my food ain't good enough. You cook too damn much, Maddie. Let me, you in, trying let, to give me a break. Give you a break, Maddie. Oh, I didn't know what you were trying to do. Because last night we had a slamming meal. We had that salmon, that good old fresh salmon. And we had some rice and green toast salad. Maddie, it seems like you're going to pass the bell out with that mask on. You think you ought to take that mask off, Maddie? I got to. I got to be six feet apart. I got to do that social distancing. Well, why you ain't distancing social from me? I am. That's why I got my mask on. That's exactly why I got my mask on. Why you got a mask on? I just told you why I got it on. Why are you asking me the same dang old thing? Well, I'm like future. Mask off, baby. It's mask off, baby. Well, wait a minute. Why did you better not run up into white puberty? White diamond. I swear to Lord. You better straighten your little end up. I swear to Lord. She if don't they... know how to drive. I now swear to Lord, if they hit your car, it's going to be a massacre. Because you, you, you act like this car is live. I don't have like none. Who the hell calling you, Maddie? What the school calling me for? What you mean the school calling you? They calling me. Hello. Y d yes. It is Miss Maddie. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have a son named Junior. What's going on, Maddie? I don't know. This is school calling. Uh, hey, Mr. Wilson, what you say? Yeah, what about Junior? What you done did, Junior? I ain't do nothing. You I did what? You did what, Junior? Oh, bow no! What Junior done did? Hold oh, no, on, Mr. Wilson, hold oh, no, on, oh, hold no. on. He said Junior no stole something on Miss, uh, Miss, uh, Willis, uh, God Willis. damn it, Maddie. That's your bloodline, Maddie. That's your bloodline. No, that ain't my bloodline. I don't mind nobody in my family got those sticky fingers. Junior. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wilson. Junior. Sorry. Yeah, what 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 are y'all gonna do about that? I don't think you sure it was my son. Did y'all you say y'all saw it on the camera? Ask him did he have nappy hair? Did he have the little twist, the little uh the little twist, the little nappy looking like little dreads, cut a couple buns up in his head? What? You, yeah, and uh, did he have like a little, uh, like a little dimple on the side of his face? Maddie, what the hell did he steal, Maddie? He said he went into the teacher purse and stole some money. I don't know what would possess him to do that. Well, Maddie, you know you didn't pay the light bill yesterday, Maddie. What? You don't say that. You don't say that. You know, oh, here, what are you talking about, Molly? No, uh, uh, Mr. Wilson. Uh, Mr. Wilson, what'd you say now? Get out the phone. And uh, you said y'all gonna be uh, suspending him. What I supposed to do? He can't stay. I mean, he can't he, stay he home he with me. Stay home. I can't teach him. He can't stay home with me. I don't know what y'all learning these days. I, I'm not. He can't I, stay I home with I, me, Maddie. Well, where where you suppose he's supposed to go? The school. Do y'all have that alternative or something, that school that they send to the children? He can't go there? I ain't do nothing. You said y'all going to the superintendent? What? Y'all taking it all the way up there to the superintendent? Taking it all the way up there to the superintendent? What? Why are y'all putting all them in there for y'all can't handle this at school? They can't handle that at school, man. Sir, yeah, I know y'all had y'all had children bringing guns and knives and all that in that school. And it's something this man with sticky hands and y'all can't handle that. How long is gonna have to be out? That's a week! A oh, week! A week! A week! A 
What do you steal, Junior? Now you know embarrassed us. What do you get, Junior? Uh, Mr. Wilson, uh, you know, I don't know, Mr. Wilson. I got to go just, uh, uh you know, I don't know what to do. Just, hey, Junior. So y'all let him Junior, take the Junior, I week. tell you, if you took anything out that he, lake. He said even after we, they got to go to the board. Uh, what board? Board of education? I guess so. He said they got to have a hearing. God damn it, Maddie. Are you sure it was our son, Junior? Because there's another little boy there. What'd you say, Junior? Another little boy there looked like you. Yeah, he looked just like me. No. I thought he was me for a second. You Ooh, thought that guy was you, man? Yeah, you got the same hair as me. We told we wanted to get matching hair and to look cool and stuff like that. Oh, uh, what? Mr. Wilson, uh, my son said that it's another little boy in there that looks similar to him. You sure? Uh, we like to see the cameras. We might, it, can y'all run the cameras for us? Can we like to have a meeting? We like to come up there to that school. Is your son some kind of snitch nine? Snitch nine? Is your son some kind of snitch nine? I ain't snitch on nobody. No, son, he don't hey, know them people. Me? He don't know them. He don't know. So he snitch on somebody that he don't know and mad at? Mr. Wilson, hey, you know, we raise our children. I ain't raised raise no we, snitch, Junior. Yeah, we raise our son right. We don't, we don't raise our children or uh, uh, a child to be putting his no hands names. on nobody's stuff. I ain't say no names. Well, so now. Junior well, don't have no reason to steal. Well, now, Maddie, he did take something out of my wallet the other day. Yeah, Marty, would you just shut up? Marty, you just keep talking. You're running your damn mouth. Just shut up. Get off the phone. Hey, Mr. Wilson, I gotta go, okay? Bye, I gotta go, I gotta go. Now, why you just keep, you you're talking about the, the light bill? And you're talking about he took stuff. You're making our son look like he's guilty. Well, I ain't raised no snitch. And if he gonna snitch, I'm gonna snitch. Snitch on you. Oh, Y'all just I get on my last darn nerve. Junior, I'm going, when I get home, I'm going in there and check your room. And if you got any money out there, your buddy's mine. You hear me? Junior. Yeah, that game, you won't have that game no more. You won't be nothing. You gotta be on, you gotta be grounded indefinitely. Because you don't go up there and make a fool of me and your daddy. I ain't do nothing. They framed me. I was in the classroom doing nothing. I don't even know what class they're talking about. So they're probably playing a prank on me. They ain't say no class. No, they, say they said they called you to the office and they read the camera and let you saw it. And you say you started crying. Junior. And you admitted that you had Junior, it. Junior, how much of that money you got left? Because I got a bill that need to be paid. Marley! You want to get one? Well, hell, if he already stole it, then we might as well use it. Marley, Maddie? now why are you condoning this nonsense? I ain't condoning it. I want to spend it. How much money do you have left, son? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Nothing. How did I get mixed up with this? So you one, ain't spend none of it. You got all of it. You go, boy. You I don't get... got no money. That's why I say ain't spend nothing. I don't got no money. The only money I got is two nickels and two pennies. Now, if I ain't go in that room there and I find anything outside of two nickels and two pennies, you can kiss my gas if I don't whip your gas. All I know when I get home and I go in that room, I better not find no dead presidents in there, okay? Because if I find some dead presidents in there, your little butt is going to be dead, okay? You hear me? No, You're going to kill now, me. Listen, huh? listen. This is going to kill everything. If you wouldn't have put your bloodline into this, then we wouldn't have none of this. Mommy, to I don't want to hear nothing about that bloodline. Because this is the more you. That's your family be stealing and putting their hands on stuff. See, now you now you want to snitch. I thought I didn't even have no snitches right here. I'm tired of it, Maddie. I'm so tired of it, Maddie. Every time I turn around, it's either him stealing from me or you talking about my family. Now, either way it go, both of you wrong. You're wrong, 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 Maddie. Why am I into this? I'm not wrong. Well, you keep, you keep accusing me. Tell me this is my bloodline. That's your bloodline. How about it's both of y'all bloodline? It goes all the way down in the dirty, dirty. If I find out Junior stole anything, then I'm giving him away. I don't even want him no more. I'm going to give him a wage. It's the last time he's going to steal. You're yeah, you're talking not, about spending the money. You're going down there to your nana. Because we you, we too old for this. We're not going to be putting up with this headache, okay? What? But I ain't do nothing. If I find I don't more have time than two nipples and two pennies in your room, I promise you, you're sleeping outside. No, he ain't got to sleep outside. Like I said, we can pack his stuff up and he can head down the road to his nana's house. That's where he can go. Well, do 
whatever you got to do, Maddie. Everything's you, Maddie. Everything's you. Molly, don't go blaming nothing on me, okay? Well, you the reason we ain't got our food yet, because you ain't pulled up into one of them stalls. If you pull up in one of them stalls, maybe we can get our food and get on. That better not be them calling you back. I asked you that earlier, Marley. I said, do we need to pull up there? And you said, no, way back here. You said, go up there at 740. Now, which one is it? What time is it, Maddie? 740. It's 728. Is that, is that my mama? Is that my mama? It better not be that country lady. Yeah, because we need to, we need to see if she can get Junior. Just give her to him. You don't have to call her, just give it to her. No, you can't. Put him, all you gotta do is just put him on the bus. And you wanna put Junior not old enough to be put on the bus by himself? If Junior's gonna steal, let somebody steal him. I never claimed it. You never claimed it? What? Well, that's right. We never did get the blood test, so you don't know if he's yours or not. You right? Maddie, this Papa Taylor now finna <laughs> kick your gas. <laughs> blood test. Blood test. <laughs> <laughs> Really, Maddie? Maddie gonna have that uh, horse hair tomorrow. <laughs> Maddie going back to slinging that horse hair. Go away. What you think, sweetie? Exactly what I said. I got to be able to throw my hair, swing it, so I can put it in like a, you you know, a ponytail. Mommy, so you can pull on it. God damn, Maddie. <laughs> you can pull his hair. That's the worst thing you can do, Junior. Touch my head. I got After you done stole everything at that school, Junior. I ain't steal nothing. Oh, he putting it on you. He putting it in you. I want that horse hair. Horse hair to swing. I want that horse hair. Hair like the swings. Hair like the swing. How that song go that them little, that little old children was singing? What children? Somebody tell me some hair like the swing. Y'all, hey, hey, y'all, hey. Something they now, like Maddie, you know you always messing up something. That thing said, pop it, pop it, pop it, Maddie. <laughs> what they gonna pop? Hey! That thing, what they gonna get popped? What they get popped? What are they wanting to pop? <laughs> the hair, Maddie. Popping it side to side, Maddie. They popping the hair side to side. Oh, okay. That's all. I'm going to get my hair so I can be popping, popping, popping. Yeah. You can pop, pop, pop me, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that horse hair. We ain't going to get off the subject, Maddie. You have a stealing son, Maddie. All he do is steal. We're not going to get off the subject, Maddie. Hey, you wanna, how the hell do you go from stealing to hair? Did she he steal the hair for you, Maddie? He ain't got no hair. He didn't get no hair for me. I already had that. I got somebody else to get it for me. Maddie, what in the hell are you talking about? I, hey, I, you know, I came out the grocery store and, and she said she needed some, you know, some money. And so I asked her, well, if I give you money, what you going to get me? What did she have on, Maddie? some booty shorts and a loose top that come all the way up there hard to top. Is that the same lady that was in the beauty supply store, Maddie, that you pointed the hair out to? Is that the same lady that was in the beauty supply store? You pointed out the hair that you wanted? I don't know. I plead the field. I plead the field. God damn it, Maddie. I knew that was your bloodline. I knew it. Maddie. I ain't telling you nothing. I just told you. That don't come up there 
and she asked me some money, and I gave it to her, and she asked what she gave me, and she just gave me some horse hair. Hey, Junior, I'm gonna ask you one more time, Junior. Where did you put the money, Junior? Where's the money, Junior? I don't know if I did steal it. Say what? I said, why do you want to know if I did steal it? Wait a minute, Junior, watch your mouth. You don't talk to your father like that. She said, why, why do you want to know if I did steal it? Where I want to know, you know what do you do with the money, son. What do you do with the money? I don't got no money. I only got a I tell you what. You, If you don't tell me where the money is, then you ain't gonna be able to play your PlayStation because I ain't gonna be okay. able to pay the power bill. Junior, okay. did somebody at that school put you up to do that? Did no. somebody up there put you up? I ain't want to know my money yet. My nickel and my penny is in my dresser. Junior, it's okay if you're a wimp, if you're scared and you're getting bullied up there at that school. Let us know that so we can get you out of this mess. Let us know that. I ain't getting bullied. I ain't steal nothing. That teacher just hate me. Well, the way your hair look, by the way, your hair look, it seems like you stole it. His hair? What has hair got to do with this? Oh, my hair. What does his hair got to do with this? The way his hair look, it seems like he the one took the money. What? It, that, that's just how my hair look. His hair ain't got nothing to do with it. Are you doing racial profiling? Is that what they call that? It sound like you're trying to you're trying to sort my child out. Talk about how his hair look. Is that what they call that, Betty? You go grow you some darn hair, Marley. Well, you can talk about somebody else. You get you some hair. It looks like I ordered. By Tommy, come out here. Golly! Well, what the hell is he going with your food, Maddie? Food. Wait a minute, that's our food right there, Maddie. Look, you should have rolled your window down, Maddie. Well, you don't do it. Them people. That's our food. Hey! <laughs> oh, that's us over here, sir! Oh, well, you may be wrong. They, or maybe ordered the same drinks as us. Now, if they... It seems like they ordered the same drinks as us. What? They touching our food. We don't want that. We don't want that being in their car. We don't want that there. That's some people's food. Marlon, just shut the heck up. Just shut the heck up. That's some people's food. Now, I told them folks we was in a white car. A whole white car. Well, don't you think they know how to read instructions? Maddie, I'm telling you that is your food, Maddie. I'm telling you no, that's... No, it's not. No, it's not, Marley. Maddie, that's your food. I'm telling you, that's your food, Maddie. No, them people, they, they, they know how to read instructions. That's you just keep it up mess, Marley. I don't think coughing on that. Whatever. Oh, my window back up. It's raining. It's drizzling out here. Why well, they cough on our bag, then they take it out and come give it All to right, us. All right, Marley, you, I mean, them people paying with a card. So how that's our food? You ain't paid with no card. You ain't getting no people no card information. I told you, I told you that supposed to be that food, man. No, I know you. I, I know you ain't put my food in nobody else's car, man. No, 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 yeah, no. yeah, yeah. You did. Yeah, you did. That food went in that car. I don't want that food if that car food in, went in that car. No, Molly, you shut up. He got, he got that man his bag of food. Now you just shut up. Okay, how much? Don't have any I'm trying to see if that. <laughs> no, nah, your bag is right here. You got his bag right there. Oh, uh, yeah, he thought it was a mix up. <laughs> oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Hey! Uh huh. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. There you go. Okay, let me, uh, I forgot my little window. Oh, I think I probably need to open the door. I forgot. No, I don't think that, that food went in that car. Okay. You sure that food ain't going out of the car? Don't worry about that. Check the, the food in the bag and make sure everything is there. We out. <laughs> hey yo, what up, man? Y'all already know, man. It's Papa Taylor, man. Welcome to my um, website for my clothing line. As you know, uh, if you don't know, I am the founder of URL Apparel, undeniable and real youthful. So this is uh, definitely for the youth. Um, it has a youth feel. Make sure you guys go and check out the um, website URApparel.com. Um, there are so many different 
looks on here great quality clothing uh, urban fit you know if it fits the body contours you you know what i'm saying so you make sure y'all go check the website out man there's jeans on there for women jeans on there for men jumpsuits unisex for men and women you know what i'm saying hoodies unisex for men and women you want to dress like your boo and you can't find nothing that quick i'll let you boy man i got you you know what i'm saying it's jumpsuits for all ages hats t-shirts pants Everything man. Ooh, them look real nice with the Geico on them. You know what I'm saying? Those are men pants right there though. Got trousers for women. You know. Y'all make sure y'all go check the website out and support your boy. At the end of the day, uh this brand is built for you and your cousin, your sister, your brother, your mama, your daddy. Like all y'all could dress like y'all could be a bunch of twins if you wanted to, you know. But don't forget, man. Go and subscribe to the channel, man. Also on Instagram, YouTube. Um, you are rare apparel, you know. Make sure to go through and check and find things that you might like. Something that you want. Something that's different than what everybody else is wearing. If that's what you're looking for, you found the right guy. You are rare apparel. You are undeniable and real youthful. The brand of the new millennium.